is that horse racing and boxing no longer have kind of that broader cultural reach. Yeah. Um, what are the downside risks for sports teams? Are there any, I mean, you know, it, it's presented here as a juggernaut. I see it. I, I see the valuation. Horse racing and boxing are not team sports. A horse has a brand for a very short period of time. Secretariat was one of the greatest athletes I've ever seen. But his competitive period was one year, basically, right? Teams build brands over decades. Look, I'm a Knicks fan because I grew up with the early Knicks teams that were great. And I will always be a Knicks fan. Nobody follows an individual athlete, which is what a jockey would be or a boxer would be for that period of time. There were anomalies. Muhammad Ali was the greatest of all time, and I'm a huge fan of his, but you know, he's one person and his career is limited. Brands continue. And that's why I think that there's a huge upside still to be seen here. But I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority. Yeah, and I'd, I'd say, just to tack on to that, um, I, I think you're, you're correct about that, Sal, but the, when I trace back, boxing is a good example, right? You know, when, when they decided to move off of what was called then network television, right? Whatever this was 35, 40 years ago, and go into the pay per view business, right? You know, that's where boxing culturally fell way, way behind. And they're still playing catch up to, to some degree. But in those days, in order to watch like a, you know, a pay per view, you had to, you had to like, drive to a movie theater or go, go somewhere, right, where, so they, they shrunk their audience, the reach, right, platforms, they basically just disappeared, uh, at, you know, out of, out of uh, you know, our, our culture, and, and, and you really had to be like a hardcore boxing fanatic to want to go do that, and so, you know, now, it, it'd be interesting, because we were just talking about Apple and MLS yeah. earlier, it's, it's kind of similar, but it's not really, because Apple's in two billion people's hands, and it, it, with the flip of the switch, that content is there. So it's much less friction, and I think that's a really good example, like why, in my view, like that's where boxing went way down. I mean, there were still the, you know, the big prize fights that you know, a couple of fighters would, would make you know, good money, but the whole rest of the ecosystem suffered. Yeah. As, as the non-professional and least knowledgeable person on this panel, i got to play the contrarian again. I think if we change the name of boxing to fighting, fighting is a much bigger industry than it was. What happened with boxing was that you grew into a lot of different divisions. You know, they call it alphabet soup, right? WBC, WBA, da da But you also got mixed martial arts. Right. So fighting as an industry, as a sport, has grown exponentially over the last, you know, several years. We don't know, as you're saying, you know, the name of the title holders, are, but it's, it's, it's grown enormously, and a lot of it because of, you know, the way it's presented. Yeah, you're talking about MMA, you mean. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, uh, and I, I, I come from the wrestling world. I was a college wrestler. I went to Penn State, and I follow it from the wrestling standpoint because most of the, the top fighters in MMA if you go through the weight classes. They're mostly college wrestlers because it rewards grappling and submission holds. So I trace it back to, you know, when, when Endeavor, right, and, and Dana White decided to get married, you know, this is however many years ago, right, and they put real professional marketing distribution and, you know, Endeavor bought uh, whatever, I mean, I think it was a $4 billion deal even back yeah. then. And, you know, they turned it into a global sport and, you know, like it has you know, gone beyond just fighting, because, you, you know, you have boxers in there that turn and they learn all the other skills, and they've, you know, they've sort of, like, accelerated past just boxing as an industry, right? So, and I think they've done that by, by virtue of, essentially, the media rights business. So. Right. Well, unfortunately, we are running out of time. I wish that we could talk a little bit more about some of the individual rights and the way that that is going to affect things, but... Uh, you know, I'm glad that you, you managed to work in submission holds. Um, <laughs> Um, Take it backstage. Right? Any, any, any last thoughts about where this is going? I mean, I think, I think it's pretty clear uh, in, in the view of the panel, but I'd like to hear any last thoughts you have. It's going up, and yeah. it's going to go up at a faster rate for bigger sport, the bigger leagues like the NFL and the NBA. As Sal mentioned, there's a bifurcation. And the reason why, I always agree with Chris, you'll notice, is because he knows those holds. <laughs>
Look, I'm very good at predicting the past. I'm not real good at predicting the future. But all indications are to me that valuation is going to continue to go up. And the number of people interested in this business is growing exponentially, and the number of teams is. Yeah, and I, um, I mean, I think we, we covered it, most of this. I mean, the, the future is bright. You know, high value, live sports rights, um, which, which are the, you know, really the main, you know, the main asset that's driving all these uh, team M&A deals. But even beyond that, just the, the value of content in a global marketplace and people that with, a, with, you know, two or three billion people that today are connected, right, with high speed access throughout the world, like where you can get content very quickly and very easily. I mean, I think that you know, if you have, if you're in that must have, um, bucket of valuable sports rights, you know, it's a great place to be. Right. All right. Well, thank you very much. You guys all have a tremendous amount of experience and, uh, and knowledge on this. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you.